life when I got ashes. And I don't wanna tell you to trap me. But I don't wanna play your face. Yeah, something that makes me look at you too often. Run that back, Turbo. This shit can't be real. So then he's like, babe, I got another question. So I'm like, what's up? He's like, um, you know, not to be in your business, but how much do you make? And I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, you know, your, your salary, you know, what, what's your salary? And I'm like, um, I said, I think I'm at like 40, like 40, 40 to 42 K. I believe is what I said. And he was like, oh, okay. So I'm like, you know, I'm answering his questions, but I'm like, the fuck you getting at? Like, and then I do remember him, you know, earlier in the day saying like, oh, you really don't have to work, blah, blah. So I'm like, you know, I I'm listening. I'm not getting too excited about nothing because I don't know what the fuck he's going to say. So then he's like, how would you feel if I gave you your salary and you quit your job and you just focused on studying to get your license. And I'm like, I mean, honestly, that would be a blessing. However, why would you do that? You know, like, yes, we're having conversation. Yes, we FaceTime, you know, but we haven't met each other. We're not in a relationship. Why would you give me, we'll say $40,000 so that I can study. And then he just goes on and he's like, well, you know, um, I, the financial situation that I'm in, you know, I'm blessed. You know, I like doing God's work, da, 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 right? Now, when he says this, I'm like, I'm listening again. I'm one that uh, I'm not going to say too much. I'm just going to let you talk, right? So he's, you know, talking. He's like, you know, um, I got to catch this flight. You know, but we're going to talk once I land and, you know, we'll figure out a, a game plan from there. So I'm just like, okay. So days go by, you know, I'm still going to work, whatever the case may be. Um, and I end up thinking about uh, what he said in his message to me initially. He said, um, my goal is to just become a better person. I feel like there's always room to make yourself better and be more of an assist to people who may need it. So I'm like, okay, you know, I, I, I just thought about it. Not saying that, you know, the two go like super hand in hand, but it was something that popped in my head. I'm like, hmm. So now I'm like, I go back on his page and I'm like, you know, just scrolling, looking. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I started doing some investigating. Cause I'm like, what's to this man? Like, we live in the same city. You know, you're essentially this entrepreneur. Um, you know, you make your own schedule. You make your own money. You're, you know, you, you pretty much do what you want to do from a day-to-day -day basis. However, we haven't met each other yet. Then I'm like, oh, well, let's take it to account. Again, I go back to the events. His grandmother passed away, the funeral. I'm out of town. He's sick. And I'm like, okay, you know, Monica, like, you know, don't don't be too, um, don't jump to, to conclusions too quick. You know, like things have happened. You had things going on, you know, um, and that's, you know, you, that's why you all's time isn't aligning. But then it just kept popping back in my head. And I'm like, but... We live in the same city. Like, we're in the same city. So why have we not at least, at the least, you know, a Starbucks date? Uh, you know, a quick bite. I'm not saying a full-blown dinner. You know, so something. If you make your own schedule, weekends work for you. Like, okay. But then I kept, like, psyching myself out. I'm like, well, well, not psyching myself out, but... Well, I guess kind of, sort of, going back to the chain of events that have taken place. So he's out of town or whatever, and we end up having a conversation. He's like, so what did you say again? You know, is your salary? And I'm like, um, I'm like, you know, 40, I say 40K for the sake of it. So I'm like, you know, 40, 40K. 
he's like, okay, cool. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to end up, when I get back, I'm going to go to the bank and have them cut you a check for 40 K so you can quit that job. Like, I don't want you stressing da da da. Now it sounds good, right? Somebody coming along, giving you your current salary, which allows you to pay your bills and take care of your kid and study and progress your life. Sounds great, right? Right? No. <laughs> so a little suspect, you know, considering the circumstances of us not meeting, we're not in a relationship. $40,000 is a lot of money, right? So, um... We continue to have, you know, conversation. Now, I'm not bringing up the money at all. I'm not bringing it up. I'm not. I'm not this thirsty chick that's like, oh, where's my forty thousand? You said you're gonna give me forty thousand. Where am I? Like, no. I'm gonna let you. If you're gonna do it, then do it. It'll be weird as fuck if you brought something up on your own and don't do it. But like every day, be so <laughs> you know. So again. I have it in the back of my head. I'm talking to my best friend. You know, she's been, my best friend's been in the loop with the whole him situation since we matched. So I'm like, you know, have a conversation with her. I'm telling her like what he said. And she's like, oh, you know, but like, I really hope that that's something that he actually does, um, you know, follow through with and he ain't, you know, on some fuck shit, right? So Again, conversation continues. We're FaceTiming, talking. I'm not bringing up the money whatsoever. I want to say maybe about a week has gone by. So on April 30th, he texts me. He's like, good morning, babe. Can you meet me downtown at Prime and Provisions at 8.30? He's like, I have a business dinner there today and I'll be done by 8.30. I'm like, okay, cool. Now, mind you, we still haven't met. So this is going to be the first time that we meet. So I'm like, okay, cool. We're going to go downtown to Prime, Prime and Provisions or whatever, um, you know, or that's what we're going to meet, whatever. So I'm like, okay, cool. So in the back of my head, I'm like, is this a, are we like going to dinner at Prime and Provisions or are we just meeting there? You know, what is this? <laughs> so, um, let's see. Oh, okay. So, Okay, so again, he says, let's meet at Prime Provisions at 8.30. I'll be done, blah, blah, blah. So then he texts me again. He's like, also, I'm going to the bank to get, this is what he says. I'll, also, I'm going to the bank to give you a bigger check for being solid. I pay attention to how people move with me. So we end up having a conversation. And what basically what he's referring to is me being there when his grandmother passed away. So me being there when his grandmother passed away, um, you know, basically just checking on him, giving him his space, um, you know, giving him positive affirmations, giving him suggestions, you know, on the grief, you know, not how to grieve, but kind of sort of, you know, things that help when you're grieving. Um, that's what he's consider, you know, considering me being solid. Um, so I'm like, good morning, honey. Yes, I can. I'm like, were you able to get some rest? He's like, no, not at all. Um, I have so many um, accounts that I'm working with. Um, I'm literally working off two hours of sleep. So I let him know. I'm like, you know, hey, I understand being busy, but, you know, you got to put your health first. You know, get yourself some rest. I'm like, well, since you're lacking in sleep right now, I'm like, you should look into going uh, to get IV therapy. Um, and I sent him the link to a place that's downtown since he's, you know, always downtown. So, okay, whatever. He doesn't respond. Um... He then um, ends up texting me at 3.08. He's like, what are you doing, babe? I'm like getting my nails done. Um, then he says, I didn't ask you, do you want a check or cash? So I'm like, uh, okay. So then I end up responding. I said, I think cash would be better simply because I think a check over 10K would flag my account and I could... Um, I could just deposit the money a little bit, you know, over time. What do you think about that? So he's like, that's fine, babe. He's like, I just thought I'd ask first. Um, he's like, how long are you going to be doing that? So I'm like, um, I thought you had the check already. That's why I didn't say anything. And I'm like, I should be done at like 4 or 4.30. So then this is his response, y'all. He's like, I mean, I can cancel the check. I had a check for 65 k 
What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? It's a cashier's check from the bank, and I didn't think they'll I I don't think they'll flag your account for certified funds. But I'll give you cash bay, it's no problem. I just send this emoji. Now I'm sitting at the nail shop getting my nails done, you know. I'm like, okay, so you went from asking me what's my salary, I say 40K. Now you're talking about getting a bigger check. And when he said that initially, like, oh, getting a bigger check, I'm like, I know I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. I'm just, you know, kind of like went right, went right over it. And now you're talking about you got a check for 65K. So now you're saying that you cut me a check for 65K. Mind you, we still haven't met. So <laughs> I'm in my head like this shit can't be real. This shit can't be real. This shit can't be real. Why would somebody give somebody $40,000, $65,000, somebody that they've never met? Now, I'm not selling myself short. Do not get me wrong, y'all. I'm a fucking vibe, okay? I'm pretty. I'm smart. I'm on my shit. However, somebody just handing me $65,000 just don't sit right, right? So again, I'm still not saying anything. I, every time he makes reference of the money, I, you know, just answer whatever question is in between there. I don't make mention of the amount of money that he states. So, um... uh he ends up he's like lol whatever you want i'll give it to you that way i'm like lol okay um then i asked him like are you wanting me to dress up tonight or just something chill he's like something chill he's like i'm gonna go over some things with you i'm like okay now when he says i'm gonna go over some things with you i'm putting myself in the mind in the how do i say this i'm thinking when he's saying he wants to go over some things with me He's wanting to assist me with the funds, you know, the, the money that he's going to give me. I'm thinking he's like, you know, I'm going to come up with a financial plan because, again, he made mention prior that he graduated from Roosevelt University and has a, a degree in finance and whatever the fuck he said, accounting and finance. So I'm like, OK, you know, cool. Like I, I like when I can learn from a man. You know, I like when men want to teach me things and not just be around me because I'm a pretty face. You know, like I like to have my mind stimulated. So, yeah, of course, teach me. Cool. You're saying you're going to give me X amount of dollars and then you want to have a conversation. I'm thinking, you know, maybe you're going to assist me with a, you know, a financial plan, with a business plan, with how to, do, you know, who knows, right? Then again, in the back of my head, I'm like, yeah okay so then um he's like yeah i'm gonna go over some things with you i'm like okay so then he's like are you busy now it's 6 15 he's like are you busy now i'm like no just driving i'm like you okay so then he's like yeah i'm flying out early tomorrow i was gonna ask can you make a run for me because i won't have time to before they close today i'm meeting with investors now so i'm like okay what do you need me to do He's like, is Apple far from you? He's like, in Lincoln Park. I'm like, I'm literally right here. I was probably about 10 minutes away from Lincoln Park. So I'm like, no, there's, you know, there's Apple right here. So he's like, okay, cool. I have to switch phones. I checked availability for an iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. Can you pick them up and drop them off to me later when you come to pick up the money? Um, He says, I keep fresh IME. IMEI numbers. I was supposed to go today, but I've been busy with investors all day and I'm going to be busy all day tomorrow. So if you can, I'll appreciate it. If not, that's cool. I'll try to figure it out tomorrow. Now y'all. 
<laughs> your girl is not new to any of this lingo okay when him and i switched in uh switched um uh, switched girl get your words exchanged instagram handles you know obviously i'm watching his story um i'm seeing him post certain things i'm not gonna be overly snitchy but seeing him post certain things and i'm like hmm this might be what i think it is but you know i'm not i'm not going we're not going to assume here i might be wrong i might be wrong he may actually be a legit person right so again all this is in the back of my head but once he makes mention the day we're supposed to meet at prime and provision the day we're supposed to meet at prime and provisions at 8 30 when he makes mention of a fresh imei number it clicked i'm like this motherfucker's a scammer he's a fucking scammer because what legit businessman legit businessman now i'm not going to say that he doesn't have a degree in finance and accounting i'm not going to say that i know plenty of scammers that got an associate's degree a bachelor's like you know they they actually have you know the education they just are deciding to scam so i'm like this he's a scammer right so i text him and i'm like did you already pay for them and you just need me to pick them up? I'm like, if so, I can pick them up. I'm literally 10 minutes away from the store. So then he responds, no, I didn't. I tried to send my assistant earlier. They said the ID has to match the form of payment. Can you pay and I'll give you the money when you come drop them off to pick up your money? what like okay <laughs> not only did i figure out that you're a scammer right now you're trying to scam me now you're trying to scam me because first of all baby you can order an iphone online and if you need, well, I'm going to say this is iPhone. You can order Apple products online. And if you need to have someone else pick it up, what you do is simply put that person's name down as the pickup person. I have literally, I've done it for a friend, like a real friend. Went and like, oh, okay, yeah, I can pick up, you know, your phone, da, da, da. Make sure you call them and put my name on the order so they can check my ID and see that the name that you put down matches my id right so boom um i end up telling him like no but you, but you know like if you go online like another person could pick it up like if you want to pay for it go ahead and pay for it and i'll pick it up and i'll bring it to you so then he's like okay i'm about to step out um and call the bank so that they can transfer money, whatever the case may be. Now, mind you, y'all, it's 7.29 p.m. Ain't no banks open, dog. What you talking about? It's 7.30. I don't give a shit who you bank with. At 7.30, <laughs> the banks are closed. But to actually call the bank to transfer money? Come on now. Like, at this point... I'm reading the message. I'm like, this nigga's insulting my intelligence, right? He's like, okay, I'm about to step out and call the bank uh, to transfer money. Then he's like, do you got anybody that can send it to you and I'll pay them triple or something? He's like, it's hard for me to step out while I'm trying to take care of business um, with these investors. Bro. First, like, you're you're lying. Number one, you're lying. I mean, we, we just know across the board. You're not calling no bank at no 7.30 at night to transfer no money. You can transfer money from your phone with two clicks. Like, literally can do it, right? Now you're trying to get me to have somebody else sell me some money 
to get these phones for you and you think that I'm going to do it because you're saying I'll pay them triple. Don't nobody give a fuck about none of that. <laughs> like that, that maybe I'm not stupid. Okay. So then I was like, no, nobody that I want in my business. Right. I'm, I'm not trying to let him know that I know what the fuck is up. I'm, I'm letting it play out. So the whole thing was also it's 730. Like I said, right. Apple closes at eight. So he's trying to like move fast. But my whole thing is like, you knew you needed these phones, you know, days ago. It, you know, so it's 730. So he's trying to like, you know, oh my God, not, I, I need to get this phone before eight o'clock. I got this flight in the morning, so on and so forth. So I'm like, if you can't figure it out today, I can go get them for you in the morning after I take my son to school um, or will you be gone by then? He's like, uh, he's like, I feel you. I'm literally leaving straight after my meeting tomorrow. Do you have, do you have, an, now he's asking me, do you have enough money to buy one? I said, no, I do, but no. So next thing you know, a Zelle payment comes through. A Zelle payment comes through from him to me for like 1300 to buy a phone. Now, mind you, in the previous text messages, he says he needed two, a 15 Pro and a 15 Pro Max. The money you sent me obviously only pays for one phone. So I'm like, okay, you know, he sent the money. I get it, you know, whatever. So when the money comes in, I screenshot it to show that, you know, said person sent me this money because now I know in my head you're a fucking scammer. But I'm still part of me. It's still kind of like giving the benefit of the doubt. Like maybe, yes, he does scam, but he does have legit business, right? So I screenshot that he sends me the money. Um, I walk into Apple and he's like, uh, get the Pro Max natural gray. He's like, thanks a lot. He's like, you can get the lowest gigabyte. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm here now. Then I text him like, I got it. He's like, okay, thanks, babe. I'll let you know when I'm done with them. I'm like, no problem. And okay. So then... Y'all, it's 8.25 when I say no problem and okay, right? 8.25. We're supposed to meet at what time? 8.30. So sometimes I used to message him on Instagram simply because his Instagram would tell me when he read something. Okay. So actually, it wasn't me reaching out to him on Instagram. He replied to a story that I posted. Now, he replies to my story that I posted. It's 9.15. And he's like, oh, I love this post. Well, he says, I love this bae with a heart. Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. So I'm like, thanks. I'm like, aren't you supposed to be in a meeting? He's like, not an actual meeting. Just whining and dining. These are investors giving them a little attention. So I heart the message. I'm like, mm-hmm. Then he texts me or DMs me and he's like, um, do you think you can fly out this weekend? I'll fly you out. I'm like, is that your way of saying I won't see you tonight? Now, mind you, I have this phone. I have this phone, right? Now he's asking me if I can fly out this weekend. Mm. <clears throat> so I'm like, um you know, still entertaining it. Um, so I was like, is that your way of saying I won't see you tonight? He's like, no, that's my way of asking you to spend the weekend with me. I said, oh, let me see if somebody is available to babysit. I'll let you know by tomorrow. Now, y'all, yes, I'm making these plans to go out of town. I know you're probably like, but you haven't met him, but let's keep in mind, this was the night I'm supposed to meet him in person like we've had facetimes all that this is the time we're supposed to see each other in person so i end up telling him like oh, okay lika says she can watch uh rylan for me he's like great because i need you babe he's like i'm all over the place with like the little uh, emoji whatever that is <laughs> so i'm like i see that he's like feel like my body's gonna shut down i'm like that's because you aren't getting enough sleep he's like i really need i really need someone i can trust to manage my personal affairs and I'm like, yeah, I thought about that earlier. So now, 
So the whole night goes on. We're texting or going back and forth in DM. That's like the nine o'clock hour, right? So I'm keeping in mind, he's saying that he's entertaining investors, so on and so forth. This can go all night. So um, it ends up getting later and later. I'm like calling, no response. Texting, he like, are we, you know, we, we still here, da, 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 da. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I look up the restaurant. The restaurant closed, I want to say at like nine o'clock, we'll say. 9 9 30 not not too late again this is during the week so the restaurant's not open late so now i'm like this nigga up to something else like or just lying overall right so i go my ass to bed so i go to bed and when i wake up in the morning i have a text from him saying bae i went to the house to pack for today i sat down and closed my eyes and it was over lol and i'm like good morning i'm like well i'm glad you're um, you were at home when you closed your eyes. I'm like, where am I meeting you? Just so I can give you this phone. Um, he's like, we gonna link before I leave. And then I'm like, he's like, yeah, and I needed that little sleep. I'm like, okay. He's like, don't forget to bring the phone. I really need it. And you come in Friday, right? So then he's like, uh, no. I'm like, the phone is in my bag. I'm like, I won't forget it. So I'm like, yes, I'm coming Friday. Um, where are we going? Like, what should I pack? So he's like, uh, California. Now, in us talking and getting to know each other, he told me that he's from California. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Sorry, y'all, my camera had died. Um, so he's like going to California. I'm like, okay, cool. So, um, you know, I let him know I was able to secure a last minute appointment, blah, blah, blah. Um, so then he ends up calling me, right? Now it's May 1st. Um, I don't know if I said that earlier. So it's May 1st. He ends up calling me like, you know, a lot of times throughout the day, we just talk and have a conversation. Mind you, I'm calculating everything, computing everything, you know, in my head, but I'm not saying anything to him. I'm literally letting him talk and give me all the information that I need um, before I call it quits, right? So then I'm on the phone with him and he's like, hey, bae, um, my assistant is about to send you some money. And I'm like, money for what? He's like, for you. So I'm like, okay. Now, mind you, I don't have this check still. So I'm like, is that the money he's trying to zail me? Like, nigga, I don't think you could zail $65,000, right? So I end up getting a notification to my bank account that says, um, now I see the name, but I didn't see the name. You know, it took me a, it took me a, a quick second. So it says that Azale was trying to come through for $2,500. Yeah. I'm going to screenshot this and I'm going to put it on the screen so y'all can see the name. I'm going to say the name, but I want y'all to see this. So $2,500 uh, payment. It says a $2,500 Zelle payment didn't go through. Y'all, why does the name say Janie Doe? What? Come on now, dog. Who? Janie Doe? <laughs> now, mind y'all, I'm still on the phone with him like, okay. So then he's like, did it go through? I'm like, no. I don't make mention of the name, right? At all. I'm just taking in all the information. I'm like, no, it did not. It says that um, the Zelle payment you were expecting didn't go through. That's all I read. I didn't even say the name, even though it says the name in it. So then he's like, damn. He's like, I want to try to Apple pay you. So I'm like, okay, cool. At this point, if you send some funds, I'm going to take the funds at this point. Because now you fucking playing with me. You're insulting my intelligence. You're wasting my time. So now if you send me some money, I'm going to take it. And then bye. Right? So he ends up... uh He's like, oh, I'm going to try to Apple Pay you. Then he goes to his Apple Pay. 
and then let me screenshot this and put it on the screen where he sends me it's saying account restricted um it says you can spend from your balance or transfer into your bank so i end up um looking i'll end up googling it or whatever and it basically says like if your apple pay gets restricted um you know there it, it could be resolved it could be something that apple just has to confirm like identity wise or there's been fraud with everything that i'm figuring out and hearing nigga you was doing fraud on your fucking apple pay right so you know, I'm again, this isn't money that I'm asking for. This isn't money that I'm expecting. This is money that he's just choosing to send. So I'm like, whatever, ain't no big deal to me, right? So then we end up getting off the phone. Um, and he's like, I'm wrapping up here. I'm gonna come drop this check off and get and get the phone. I'm gonna call you when I'm done. So then he starts talking about his assistant again. He's like, babe, my assistant will be here around 1020. She'll have a rental. Where do you want to meet her? Um. So then, let me see. I'm trying to make sure I'm responding. Because he said something about wrapping up his meeting. I'm like, do you want me? Oh, so I was like, do you want me to send you an address on where we can meet? Or do you, you know, have some place in mind? Again, because he's trying to give me the check and pick up this phone. So, um. Then he ends up bringing up the assistant and I'm like, as soon as I get in the house, I'll find a, a point for, a, you know, a place for us to meet that's in the middle. Also public, because keep in mind, I still have not met him and I don't know whoever this assistant is. But then also keep in mind, I'm going along with, you know, what he's saying. So um, he's like, okay, I'm coming from Elgin and just let me know. And I'm like, you got to go to O'Hare, right? He's like, yeah. And then I end up saying, saying, I'm like, oh, your assistant can meet me at Bar Louie. Um, and I sent the address. He's like, okay, I'll let her know when she lands. He's like, I'm gonna go downtown and grab something. So just let me know um, where to meet. So I end up sending him um, the Wintrust Arena. I knew there was a concert going on that night. You know, this is my first time meeting him. I have my thoughts, you know, my spec I'm speculating already. So let me make sure we're meeting in a place where there's a lot of people. Um, so I told him like, meet me near, you know, near the Winchester arena. I'm like, is that okay? He's like, yeah. He's like, I'll let you know when I'm 15 minutes away. So then he ends up getting there before me. He ends up sending his, the uh, location or whatever. And I'm like, he's like, uh, I'm right here. It was too much going on around there. I'm like, okay. Now when I check where he is, like he was only like half a block down. He wasn't like right in front of the arena, but down. So there's still a lot of people around. So I end up pulling up. I saw his car because I've always known what, you know, what car he was in from FaceTime and, you know, he showed me the car, the car or whatever. So I see his car. I drive past it on purpose. I'm going to start it off slow. I'm going to scope the scenery out. So I drive past it and then I end up pulling over and he calls me. He's like, you just passed me or whatever. I'm like, oh, my bad. So then he pulls up behind me and we get out. And, you know, of course, I'll go, you know, reach for a hug, giving a hug, whatever, da, da, da. And then um, I was like, oh, shit, I almost forgot the phone. And then so I go back to my car and I'm like, uh, don't forget my money. Right now. Now I'm bringing it up because you keep on talking about this check. So I'm like, don't forget my money. So then um, he's like, oh, yeah, shit, my bad. So it goes back in the car and we do a handoff. Now he's like, oh, thanks, babe. Da, da, da. I'm like, mm hmm. So I grabbed the check. I just put it in my pocket, right? Um, I didn't look at it yet. So, you know, we're standing there, you know, talking. This is our first time meeting. Um, you know, it's finally like, oh my God, about time. Like, we actually met each other in person. And I'm kind of just paying attention, you know, to his, like, you know, his demeanor, obviously, because I already have, again, things in my head that I'm thinking about you so I'm really paying attention now um so he's like oh my god he's like you you know you're prettier in person da, 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 da. I'm like oh thank you you know still acting like shit is all good and normal so we stand there and we talk for about 15 minutes I'm like don't you got a flight to catch like 
you said you had a flight to catch. Now, mind y'all, he did say he had a flight to catch and he had made, made mention previously that he flies private. So he's like, oh yeah, he's like, I already talked to, um, you know, the people or whatever. I told him I'll be a little bit, you know, a little bit late and they're going to wait for me. There's like a grace period. I'm like, okay, cool. I never flew private. So, mm -hmm. so, okay. We talked for like 10, 15 minutes. Um, as soon as we depart, he's like, give me a hug. He's like, call me when you get in the car. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I get in the car, I call him and I'm talking to him and he's, as he's driving to the airport. Now I hear a call come through and I mean, it sounds pretty legit. I'm going to say that it was legit of the, um, the person that works at the, uh, you know, the plane charter place. And it's like, Hey, you know, captain's ready to depart. Da, da, da. You know, do you know what your ETA is? And he's like, Oh, about 15, whatever minutes. So I'm literally on the phone with him the whole time. I'm actually hearing them like, Oh, welcome. You know, we're on whatever, you know, their whole little saying or whatever to get him on the plane. And he's like, oh, there's two bags in the back. Da, da, da. So I'm literally hearing all of that. And I'm he I literally hear, uh, you know, something radio or something saying that they don't have clearance to depart. Da, da, da. So he's like, oh, damn. He's like, uh, they got to wait for clearance for us to leave. And I'm like, oh, damn, that sucks. I'm like, well, I'm glad you made it. He's like, yeah, um, I'm going to call you when I land. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, whatever. So he ends up not calling me when he lands. Um... I don't really think too much of it. I'm just going about my day. Um, I want to say this is now so May May first was the day that we actually met each other in person. This was May first. Let me just double check. Yeah, May 1st is the day we actually met each other, right? So the weekend that I'm supposed to go down to California to meet him was Cinco de Mayo weekend. So now, you know, it's a May 2nd. You know, I text him good morning. And then a little bit after I called him and he's like, I'm on a Zoom call. I'll call you right after. Okay, cool. So he calls me. Then he's like, um, my assistant is on her way to the city. Text her and let her know what time and where to meet you. So I'm like, I just left my appointment. I'll text, um, I text her, but no response yet. He's like, I'm gonna call her now. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, now the whole reason for me meeting this assistant is because she's supposed to be giving me actual cash in my hand. Um, I do already have the check. I already gave him the phone. She's coming to give me actual cash. So in my head, I'm like, I'm kind of like, so you gave me this check already. And you're having your assistant give me more money? For what? Like, this is not making sense, right? But of course, again, I'm going along with it. So, you know, time is going by. The assistant, because he ends up like, oh, I gave my assistant your phone number. So the assistant ends up texting me and is kind of like, uh, checking in she's like hey you know i have some meetings to finish up da, 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 at this time let's meet at you know such and such time i'm staying at the astoria um do you want to just meet at the hotel i'm like yeah okay cool now again like i told y'all with everything transpiring i'm keeping my friend malika in the loop because i'm trying to understand what the fuck is what why is this happening why is it happening this way what's going on right so my friend's in the loop the entire time she got my location all of that you know, in the event that I do meet up with said person. So basically, me and the assistant never meet up, right? Me and the assistant never meet up. Um, he ends up texting me like we've been in communication while he's while he's gone. You know, I'm communicating with him. He's communicating with me. He's like, oh, yeah, my assistant, da, 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 da. I'm handling business, this, so on and so forth. So then he ends up texting me. And he's like, um, I decided to come back. Um, my assistant saying I'm being weird, saying she doesn't know you, etc. She's scared. That shit made me look bad. I feel like that's something she should have just said. Um, I get she's never done anything like this before, but don't agree to don't agree to some shit just to disagree. Then you're acting funny towards me. It's it's too much. 
but the shit still look bad on me but i get it though and then um he's like uh no i was like i'm sorry you had to cut your trip short so now he's like oh i'm gonna come back and you know i'll just give you the money because my assistant is saying she's scared da, da, da. i'm like scared of what I mean, I get like, we don't know each other. So maybe that part, but girl, it was just pieces of the story that I still don't get. I'm like talking to my friend, like, huh? Like what, what the fuck is what, right? Y'all, I wish I could say this is the end, but it gets better. It literally, well, not better, but yeah, it gets deeper. So, um, now we're having a conversation. He's like, thinking about firing his assistant and I'm like why like fire her for what because she was afraid to meet up with somebody that she don't know somebody that you just met for the first time two days ago like in person fire her for what so you know we going back and forth and I'm like you know explain this to him like you know I understand where she was kind of like hesitant at if this is in fact a real situation if this is a real situation that he's referring to I understand how she's hesitant like you should have done your due diligence in terms of letting us meet in person or talk on the phone, something before you're like, hey, meet up and give her da 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 da. So um he ends up saying, like, oh yeah, I understand, blah blah. So he ends up saying that he's coming back. Mind you, this is Sunday, he says he's coming back. Hear nothing from him Sunday. Hear nothing from him Monday morning. I get a text at 318 on Monday, May 6th. And he's like, I'm going to call you when I'm finished with work. Oh, I had called him and he didn't answer. Then he's like, I'm going to call you when I'm finished with work. I said, okay. Um, I said, uh, I have to pick my son up at 545. So now he's like, uh, it's 856. 856 now he's like I'm still working and he sends me his current location he's like you can meet me here you can meet me here when I'm finished I'll let you know when to leave out because again he still wants to give me this money right so I just say okay we're gonna back up a bit so that whole day where he's like um you know, he's still working, blah, blah, blah. He'll call me when he's done. So what I did, while Buki was still working, working, which, baby, <laughs> so much bullshit. But what I do is I end up calling the bank. So the check that he gave me is from Huntington Bank. Now, y'all remember, he asked me what my salary was. So I gave him, I think, 40, well, again, we'll just say 40K is what it was, 40K. He ends up saying that he wants to get me a bigger check and ends up saying that he's going to give me a check for 65K. Okay. I get the check. And I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to cover some things up. He ends up giving me this check. For what? $75,000, right? $75,000. Me just being a smart person that I am, I'm like, I need to do some verifying first. I'm not this girl that's just thirsty for money and I'm just gonna, oh, boop, put it in my account. No, I need to do some verifying first. So... I go to my bank, right? I go to my bank, my bank or Bank of America. I meet with the guy, I give him the check. Now, I'm like, let's see what they say. I just hand it to them. I don't say anything, I just hand it to them. So he's, you know, uh, the guy pulls me in the office for like certain amounts, they handle transactions, you know, in the office or whatever. So I'm talking to the guy and he's like, oh, you know, what are the funds for? So, you know, I'm giving him a little spiel or whatever. He's like, okay, cool. So he's like taking a picture of the check and he ended up saying, he's like, oh, I got to get verification for something. I'm like, okay, cool. 
So then he walks away, he comes back, and he's like, uh, we can't verify the check. And I'm like, hmm, interesting. So then he's like, uh, you know, was the check mailed to you? You know, was it given to you in person? And I'm like, it was given to me, you know, in person. He's like, yeah, we can't verify the check. He's like, but don't, you know, don't take it as something bad. He's like, um, what I would do is, you know, maybe call Huntington and see if they can verify it. Um, and I end up saying, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'll go ahead and do that because he did indicate, you know, that he's a private client you know, of, of, a, of the bank. So maybe they have a different verification process. He's like, yeah, possibly. He's like, I can only speak on bank of America. So I'm like, okay, cool. Right. So I end up, I end up going about my day. The next day I end up calling Huntington customer service and I'm like, hi, um, you know, I wanted to, um, verify a check. I said, I'm not sure if it's, you know, a cashier's check, if it's, you know, a, a, a personal check, because when I Googled it, there's like several different checks that people can cut. Like if you have a business, you can cut a check from directly from your business. It can be a cashier's check. It can be certified funds. Like it's all these different things. So I'm like, I just need to verify this check, you know, um, that I received. Now at this point, I'm saying that I received it from an investor. So I'm like, you know, the funds that I received from an investor before I submit it into my account, um, I want to ensure the validity of this check. So I speak to the young lady and she's like, okay, no problem. She's like, um, what are the digits in the corner? So I'm like, it's, uh, there's four digits. And then she's like, so a cashier's check would have, I think she said five or six digits, something like that. Right. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, maybe it's not a cashier's check. I'm like, uh, you know, it is, it is a check. I'm not sure which type of check it is, but it's a check. And I said, it has four digits. So she's like, hold on, let me get you connected over to, um, the business department. So I'm like, okay, cool. Sorry, y'all, I'm gonna throw dry again. So, gets me connected over to the business department. And um, I'm like, hey, you know, just want to verify some funds that I received from an investor. Um, you know, wanted to ensure the validity that this check was valid before submitting it into my account. So she's like, unfortunately, you know, that's something that we're not able to do over the phone. What I would suggest to ensure the validity of the check is to bring it into an actual Huntington location. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I end up Googling and um, there's actually a Huntington that's not too far from my house, like less than a mile. So I'm like, okay, I'll just save it for the next day. So that next day was a Saturday, I believe. Whatever. Uh, the next day. So I end up going um to the Huntington location I'm talking to the lady I'm like hey you know I'm just coming in here I received a check from an investor um and I'm wanting to uh you know check the validity of the check before depositing it depositing it into my account so she's like oh definitely you know she's like real that's very smart you know I wish you know people were smart like that <laughs> so I'm like yeah no problem so I give her the check and she's like can I get your ID I'm like oh yeah sure no problem so I gave her my ID she's looking she's in the system she's putting stuff in this that and the other right she just looks at me and I'm like, you know, my gut's kind of like, I already know what she's going to say. Like, I, I just, I just know it. She's like, it's not real. I said, like, this at, at all? She's like, mm -mm. so then she begins to point things out to me. Now, mind y'all. I looked at this check, but I'm not studying the check, right? I look at it. I see for the most part, everything looks legit. When you look at it, it looks legit, right? Right. So she ends up pointing out to me. She says, okay, to start, um, we'll start here. <laughs> the signature, okay? The signature on this check, y'all. <laughs> Again, like I said, y'all, I looked at the check, but I didn't analyze the check. Y'all, why is the signature on this check say Warren E. Buffett? <laughs> Warren Buffett? I'm like, <laughs> girl. 
be for real right now. So I literally look at it and she, she picked up that like, okay, this girl was really like, you know, finna get scammed or I don't, I don't know. Can you even call it a scam? So she picks up, you know, on my energy and she's like, okay, like this girl really didn't know. Like, you know, a person that's on some fuck shit is really finna be like, oh shit, let me get the fuck out of here. You know, she really picked up like, okay, this girl really, you know, had no idea. So I'm like, wow, the signature. Okay. She's like, then she ends up pointing out the routing number, the routing number at the bottom of the check. Baby, why is it a, it's a chase routing number. I'm like, hmm? So, okay, I mean, we already knew, like, with the signature, that was kind of like, okay, it's a fake check. So, you put a fake signature, a fake routing number. You just made me a fake check. Why? 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 So I thank the lady. I'm like, oh, you know, thank you so much. I'm so glad that I double checked before inputting this shit into my bank account. So I immediately call my best friend and I'm like, girl, so this, da, 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 this is what was told to me. We're both on the phone like, why? What was the point? What do you gain? Like, are you just this big of a scammer that you actually thought you were doing me some good by giving me a fake check and maybe putting me up 75k like what was your what was your point like y'all i really still to this day cannot understand what the point was this doesn't do anything for that person does nothing for you all that would have done for me what that would have done to me is close my fucking accounts that's what that check would have done bank of america would have closed the fuck out of my accounts because you're depositing a seventy-five thousand dollar check i'm sorry a seventy-five thousand dollar phony check Like y'all. So I didn't say anything to him, right? He ends up calling me. I answer the phone. I'm like, hey. He's like, hey, babe. Um, did you deposit the check yet? I'm like, no, not yet. You know, I'm super busy. Da da da. I'm like, I'll I'll get around to it, right? He's like, oh yeah, no, definitely understand. I'm really in my head, like, you bitch. I'm not even mad at the fact that you, I ain't gonna lie, I am mad. Uh, what, what, what was your point? What you, what you selling me a dream for? What does that do? Now, y'all, what if I actually, I mean, I did end up quitting the job, but I didn't quit the job because of him saying he's gonna give me this money. I got a new job. But what if I really did quit my job? Like, oh yeah, he's gonna give me x amount of dollars so i can do this that and the other what if i would have did that what if i would have did that how does it been like how does anything benefit you literally everything you did it didn't benefit you at all so it's kind of like like I, it's giving weird creepy People just not okay in the head. Why are you on a dating site? Like, I, 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 <laughs> y'all, I'm still baffled because it's like, you didn't scam me out of anything but my time. Like, I picked up on a lot of your stuff way before you actually put this check in my hand. But I really want to know, like, what was your point? Like, really, what was your point? So, we still have each other on social media. I went on the page. My phone is acting. Instagram back in so funny, y'all. But I'm on his page. He still follows me. 
He still watches my story. I haven't made another phone call. I haven't sent another DM, text message, nothing. So he obviously knows. He has to know. He has to know I figured it out. Unless he is like, oh, she got her 75K and she dipped. I'm up 75K. I'm actually not up 75K. But you also didn't fuck me up if that was your plan. Like, I don't know, y'all. It's super fucking weird. Like I said, still watches my story to this day. Hasn't called, hasn't texted, hasn't nothing. Not a DM. But it's so fucking weird. Like, I did not think me making this dating site profile would have led to a person scamming me out of time. Like, you didn't get any money from me. You didn't get, you know, my social security number. You, you didn't get anything. <laughs> like, it's so weird that you like, and then you, you really took the time out to make a check. Like, y'all, it got my fucking name on it. I ain't gonna put my last name, but it has my name on it. You you took the time to make a fake check with my name on it. Brought it with you. Gave it to me. Uh, huh? So confused, y'all. So, of course, dating apps just put a bad taste in my mouth. Because what the fuck is going on on here? Like, baby, I'm just going to have to meet my man the old-fashioned way. Hopefully, he just bump into me and we go from there. Because the data sites, that, that shit ain't for me. Apparently, it's just a bunch of scammers on there. Um, and I'm not going to say it's everybody. I really believe people are finding their husbands, you know, their soulmates on there. Good for y'all. Love that for you. Didn't happen for me. Like, I, I can't even say like, oh, I got scammed. I, I didn't. I, I had my time wasted. Like, and it's so weird because it ain't like our phone calls were a few minutes, you know, like we didn't talk every day. I'm gonna put it on the screen that we spoke for three hours on the phone. We spoke for three hours on the phone. So you're actually investing time, also time that you can't get back. You can't get this time back, just like I can't get this time back. And this isn't the first conversation that's over an hour, you know, FaceTime. So... FaceTimes and, you know, regular phone call. What was your point? You sitting over here. I forgot to tell y'all. He hit me with the I love you. It was one night. I went to sleep. And when I woke up. Look at this, y'all. Can you see that? This is me scrolling. Y'all see that? I should have knew the nigga was unhinged then. <laughs> but I'm just thinking it's like, you know, it's a nice vibe. He likes, you know, how things are going whatever dog and then it was like when i checked my instagram he did the same thing on my instagram i was like screen recording it of him like liking all my pictures i should have knew the nigga was unhinged then i should have knew something was not right but yeah y'all that was my experience using a fucking dating site it's never gonna happen again never gonna happen again like i really don't understand what the point was? What was the point? Like, and then to not, like to this day, the that was the last time that, what was that? May 6th. May 6th was the last time we, we had any sort of conversation. Today is May 15th. You ain't said nothing. Nothing. Like, I'm confused, but I also don't want to hear what the fuck you got to say, because you're just stupid, like, stupid as hell. 
you wasted your time. You wasted my time for what? And I still be stuck on it. Gave me a fake ass check. What the fuck? What the <laughs> Why? What was your point? To shut my bank account down? Like, what was the point? So yeah, y'all, that's my dating scam um dating site experience i definitely want to hear have y'all experienced anything like this whether it be you know from a dating site or you know maybe you met this person in real life i want to hear y'all stories down below um yeah definitely give this video a thumbs up i know <laughs> this is a good one y'all gotta give me my thumbs up on this one don't forget to share this video make other people aware of this type of shit and yeah i'll see y'all in my next video